Okay, you versus some monster-sized trucks. This is gonna be good. I'm 
be in muy mala condición. You think I can get it working? <laughs> that was a trick question. I can get anything working. one of these things in Texas a few years back, but I had no idea there was another. That is a 250 GTO. We've hit the jackpot. Great. They're filming for the new Vanguard Force movie and the star Frankie Beaumont was asking around for you. I still don't think the two of you look anything alike, but Frankie really seems to need your help. Wow. It's like looking in a mirror. Right? I mean, the perfect stunt double is an identical twin. You said you wanted some driving lessons. Get in! Let's go! There's a new movie. Vanguard Force 10. Yeah, I've seen the teasers, and I had fun driving stunts in the last one. Right. The director is insisting we do our own stunts this time round, so I need to get decent after the standard you set on the last one. Have to do your own stunts? Well, let's see what we can do. That's, uh, the Stockholm slide. We've already started filming. It's hopeless. I'll never impress Victor Garcia Hernandez as a driver or legitimate dramatic actor. Actually, I have an idea. Since, you know, there's a bit of resemblance here. What if we don't tell anyone and... 
And, hang on, you do the driving and I do the acting. I think we could pull that off. Don't sweat the dialogue, mate. We'll get that later. You just focus on your driving. Okay, Mike. Will do. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Mate, come see me after we cut. I'll get you some lozenges or something. Scene 15. Downhill escape stunt sequence. Action! Right, old Victor. And this is the very first shot of the movie, yeah? No intro, just straight in with the car chases. Well, you're the genius. <laughs> Very good, Mike. I'm in the helicopter. I look forward to seeing what our driver can do. That was Mike Steele. He does the stud direction while Victor is the overall director. Seems like he bought it. I don't know about Victor, but that looks mint to me. likes to have a god's eye view. Hang on, we'll put him on. We are the stuff that dreams are made of, my friends. Vehicles are canvas, the car are paintbrush, and Vanguard Force 10 would be our masterpiece. Andro, let's go! Buy it. He did. We can make this work. Right. Keep it in the river along here and upright if you can, Frankie. Scene 23. Mad Alex. Action. <laughs> Alex's last chance. Without this vehicle, we will not be able to trigger the Dimension Portal. There will be explosions and many digital things. But the truth is in the vehicle, in the way you drive. Make me believe. <laughs> Surface is rough through it. kind of driving for years. <laughs> yes! And now through the resistance camp, let nothing stand in your way. One. 
wonderful, Frankie. That's amazing. You truly grasp the essence of the character. <laughs> Victor's notoriously difficult to please, but he loves your driving, Frankie. Ready for the next setup? C25! One flew over Cobalt's nest! Action! Now the supplies are delivered. Alex Cobalt must escape, not from aliens, but from a phantasmagoria of fears and doubts tracing all the way back through everything you have experienced. I don't know what a phantasmagoria is, but I've whacked a rally V8 in that thing, so give it the guts! Barricades and ramps ahead! Keep your speed up! Hard turn onto some winding roads up ahead! Did you learn to drive like that, Frankie? Victor has handed this one off to me. He's working on something new for the ending, and that has me worried. Anyways, go for it, Frankie, and let's get this one! Improv scene! Beach rush! Action! <laughs> We've got debris along the beach. Dodge that, and keep away from the houses. Otherwise, there's people who have to edit it all out digitally, frame by frame. <laughs> to us. What? No way, my software story is flawless.
I'll take this footage to Victor. Wait till he sees what his superstar... Sorry, movie star can do. Still not talking, eh, Frankie? What a surprise. Let's get on with it. Improv scene! Search scene! Action! Yeah, so the search is part of the flashback in Act 3. The script is something. I have no idea how it's gonna work. Just throw the car around the bit or something? Huh? I haven't seen driving like that since... Well, anyways, slam the route and... Improvise! With your car? Stick to the runway tarmac. That's where we have the best camera coverage. Frankie, mate, you'll have to put me in touch with your driving instructor. I think Mike is onto us. Yeah, we'll have to dial it back a little. Should I tell Victor is really behind the wheel? Kidding, Frankie, I'm just kidding. Well, well, well. If it isn't the two masterminds caught in the act. Can't believe I didn't recognize your driving sooner, kid. Uh, uh Mike. Glad you're here. How do you like this, uh, this dummy the art department made? It's, um, it's very realistic. Save it, Frankie. This is a brilliant idea. But if you're gonna keep Victor in the dark, he'll need my help. It's nice to be working with you again, Mike. You can talk. I never expected that. Uh, look, get in the car. We've got a big jump to do. Scene 43! Time travel volcano jump! Action! Uh, Mike? Did you just say volcano jump? <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on now, kid. That's all the opening ceremony. Hammerage up the hill, kid. That stunt vehicle is a Mike Steel Special. Custom engine and suspension. <laughs> Frankie? Brilliant! Well done! But we keep this between us, yeah? No need for Victor to know. Hey there, Frankie. Uh, no, no, don't talk. We have to protect that nice, bankable accent of yours. Get in the car. I'll explain the stunt as we go. Scene 68. Up to Strange Guard. Action! Careful up ahead. Watch the turn. of another Frankie relaxing in his trailer with a mug of lemon tea. Um, that was a dummy. It was a stunt dummy. Gotta go, Victor. Bye. Hey, I always have a role in the movies I make. I was Pursuit Beast number two in the one we made in the UK. <laughs> the one that ran into the wall. I love that bit. Very funny, Captain Silent Protagonist. Now drive! <laughs> Nicely done. It's good to be working with you again. Frankie. Oh, too close by half. Let's get this done. The director was asking why I'm not doing my lines in the stunt sequences. Don't worry about it, Frankie. I'll cover for you. Hey, kid, you ready for the next set? Sure. What's the stunt? Highway escape! Action! Talk me through this. What's my motivation? So, it's a race, basically. Gotta outrun the pursuit car. I can explain, Mike. And that is an excellent accent, Frankie. Uh, you have hidden depths. This is an escape, of course. The self-replicating control system is intent on stopping you. It has commandeered a pursuit vehicle. You must escape it. If it helps, it 
imagine the pursuit vehicle has a number of hilarious lines of dialogue, perhaps even emerging as the true star of this movie. With you voicing it, I bet. done. This is gonna look great. And there we go. That's done. Only one more stunt to do. I'll call you when we're set up. Ah, see. BMW. Too old to be made in Mexico, though. We should take it to the taller so I can get a better look. Right. This is the last shot we need to get. Should be easy. What could go wrong? Scene 107. Take to upload stunt sequence. Action! Right, we've got other stunt drivers in traffic vehicles. Dodge and weave, and get to the destination as quick as you can. This is where we bring the pieces together. Past, present, future, messages and themes come across the franchise coming together, not resolved. Never resolved. Don't worry about all that past, present theme stuff. Let's just get this done before he rumbles us. and print it there. Stunt units are wrapped on Vanguard Force 10. It's up to Victor in the editing booth now. He's not the type of director to 
change his mind, or ask for reshoots, or anything like that. Right? There's a new scene. Apparently, we need to take advantage of the presence of a major cultural event to root the story in the zeitgeist. Uh, zeit what now? Get in the car, kid. I'll explain. Scene one or three. Uh, something at the festival. Glory, kid! Straight through the festival. Hit the jumps. Apparently the scene's got to go right through the middle of a race or something. Tell Scott Tyler not to flop his lines this time. Wait, wait. We've put the festival in the movie. And Scott Tyler... No! Dot, dot, dot. There are cars on the track! Pause. Going the wrong way! This is dramatic and unexpected! Got Tyler, by the way. I'm gonna get an eight. We, uh, let him write his own lines. Go. That has to be enough for him, right? Uh, so, I just got off the phone with the director, and he wants one more stunt. And not just any stunt. He wants me to jump across the bay, being chased by a cargo plane. And there's dialogue all over it, so no driver swapping. I think it's time we fessed up to Victor. Hang on. If we can't swap drivers, why don't we swap cars? With one waiting in the motorway tunnel. Right. I need props and another hero car. Do we even have another hero car? Yes, we do! The one that was too fast for anyone to drive! I'll get it ready over at the bridge. Scene 117. One take. Action. I'll do the first section and you take over at the tunnel. We can do this, Frankie. Just drive casual. Now, Frankie, it is time. We must close the loop, combine the dimensions, and transform this conflict into art. Got a bad feeling about this. See, see. You are being torn apart from the inside. It's almost as if there is another Alex Cobalt straining, fighting to take control. Understand? Uh, and... Go, go, quick. I can't act and drive at the same time. The plane's spinning up. Get to the airfield. Go, go, go! The car's a bit of a handful. This is the high power one Victor asked for, but we never used, so, uh, enjoy! Whoa! This thing can move! Ah, uh, we need a line here, I think. Ah, uh, Frankie, would you provide something for me, please?
driver learned to talk, Frankie. You're out of a job. Not bad. I mean, I have a few notes. What Frankie said, just hit that jump and knock a play. <laughs> I love my life. bleeding, did it? Amazing, both of you. I couldn't tell from watching the feeds. Amazing work. Great driving. And, I mean, reasonable acting, too. Right. This is a post credit scene. And according to the call sheet, Victor wants... Uh... Both of you. Both of us? He doesn't know I exist, right? Scene 121A. The two Alexes. Action! Hey. What do you say we make this one real? Oh, you know it! See you at the finish line! Ah, yes. This is what we have been working toward. The within made manifest. The conflict real. The outcome unknowable. My greatest work. <laughs> A clever wasik. Any luck, he's definitely, positively, a rap. So, Victor's asked me to join his remake of Rendezvous. Turns out he saw the thing we did in Edinburgh. It's a huge opportunity. And all thanks to you, kid. Actually, you know, I've got this idea. It's about twins who fight crime. In cars? I'm in. Tell me more. The Titan! Right, let's get out there and finish this cross-country programme with a bang.
cross-country racing when you have such nice-looking country to cross?